makers on the impact on the state's reputation and future. In the heart of Alabama's capital, emotions are mixed. Some are calling Robert Bentley's resignation a dark day in state history. Many others are more hopeful. I look at it, as you said, as an opportunity to put that part of our history and part of our reputation behind us and let's move ahead. We're a resilient state. Uh, we have resilient people in the state of Alabama and I think that we move forward from this. Uh, you know, we started that on yesterday. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited about the possibilities to come. Possibilities after 10 months of political shakeup in Montgomery at the highest levels. Last year, a jury convicted House Speaker Mike Hubbard of corruption charges. Later, Chief Justice Roy Moore was removed from office. So that means over the last 10 months, the Republican leaders of all three of Alabama's branches of government have been forced out of office. So what impact, if any, will Bentley's resignation have on Alabama's Republican Party going forward? Who's more corrupt? <laughs> it it ran a fact that Democrats were corrupt, but now I guess corruption is more centered on the Republican Party than on Democrats. As a brand, from a Republican perspective, I think we've done our job. We knew there were problems and we addressed them. Either way, most believe Alabama will rebound. We are used to chaotic days in Alabama. It's like a tornado hitting and coming back again. We had three tornadoes come through the state and we survived it. So we'll survive this tornado too. And think brighter days are coming. In Montgomery, John Papke, WVTM 13.